traders and welcome once again to what's moving in the forex market brought to you by myself Kurt Capra and pristine trading as always please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice and in addition always keep in mind that pristine offers weekly free webinars here's a list of our webinars for this coming week and as always you can also check www.pristine.com for the full schedule throughout the week and even into the following week so definitely check those out as people like to say that they learn more in our free webinars than they do in others courses so highly encouraged for you to at least stop by say hi and see what's going on all right so let's take a look at what's happening and starting in the upper left euro us dollar daily chart we can see here very strong move up which is then followed by a pullback here and you know it was a fairly steep pullback the angle of retracement was a bit on the more bearish side however all we've done is really pull back onto minor support so it may take a bit of time to get all the way back up to this prior high but we are beginning to see the initial indications of, of buyers stepping up and uh, as I said it may take a little bit of time we may be chopping around here a bit to really build the confidence of the bulls back up but in time based on the pattern here off the daily it is indicating price will be moving to the upside but uh, we take this bias and then take it to the intraday time frames and see if that is in fact in alignment with the daily chart and if so go ahead and place the trade moving on over to Aussie US dollar this one remains in a steady downtrend overall and appears at this point to be setting in a lower high on its way to even lower lows so maintaining that bearish bias we've had all along looking for price to continue falling and really there's no reason to think otherwise there's no reason to be looking to get long at at any point I mean anytime you come down to a prior low there is likely going to be a slight increase in demand but the trend here is lower and that's what we want to be aligning our bias with moving on over to New Zealand dollar US dollar once again downtrend in place you can already see that things are getting going here breaking under these lows and really having a void to continue falling so uh, as with Aussie US dollar we want to maintain a more bearish bias and stance here with New Zealand dollar US dollar as well because again trend is down we want to go with the direction of the trend 90 plus percent of the time and so that's what we're going to do in this case as well moving on over to US dollar yen here we had a very sharp sell-off we've been retracing a bit over the last couple days and again the question is will this be a lower high or do we need to move a little higher up before we really roll over uh, as far as these daily charts with, with regard to at least US dollar yen you know, we're gonna give this some time to repair itself obviously there was a lot of volatility in the last week and a half or so and so following the intraday trend is going to be more advisable than really trying to play off of any daily pattern uh, with regard to this one so intraday weakness at this point may, may be in order but again just follow that intraday trend as that's going to be the the guide for our bias to then play off of smaller time frames if the opportunity presents itself US dollar Canadian dollar bottom middle chart this one remains in a steady uptrend really nothing uh, breaking this nothing damaging it nothing shaking this trend as we continue to slowly but surely work to the upside and here once again we're getting another higher low on our way to what we assume would be a higher high uh, so following the trend intraday looking to buy those pullbacks I mean here's a four hour trend which it hasn't been the cleanest admittedly but hey any pullback to support has held so if you can find something setting up per your plan in support or at an area of support 
odds are in your favor for a successful trade or drilling down to even smaller time frames trying to see if you can't get things to look a bit cleaner but still using the support levels as the bias for which you would enter based upon but again daily trend steady uptrend here weekly trend um, again up no real end in sight we're not seeing climactic bars indicating things are getting overly emotional and and, and the novices are really piling in so uh, again stay bullish and finally pound us dollar bottom left this one had a pretty sharp crack to the downside after breaking out now of course there was the whole financial you know quote unquote meltdown there was the uh the global impacts that were, of course, felt here, but uh, nonetheless, we, we still want to focus on the patterns. And here we've got a pretty potent failed breakout at this point, which drove us all the way down to these lows. And uh, given the pattern, it's telling us to expect price will be moving lower. And if we look at a weekly chart, again, you can see quite clearly that message being indicated there was the breakout here's the potent red bar if we break under last week's low we could easily see price back down towards the lows from february and april in in a relatively short amount of time so keep your mind open to that possibility follow the trend which at this point on the daily is beginning to transition back to a downtrend and uh, therefore you look to intraday time frames or even on the daily for those bearish opportunities to present themselves so that's where things are at here right now guys as always and as i've said in the past Stay patient, stay disciplined, and stay confident, and hopefully we'll see you in an upcoming free webinar. But until the next time, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, you can do so in the comment section below, or you can always email me directly, and I would be happy to get back to you. But uh, again, in the meantime, as I said, stay patient, stay disciplined, and stay confident.